Hey guys, it's Pucci. We have more reseller drama. Oh my goodness, and it doesn't involve me. Thank you. Uh, so, apparently, this uh, reseller in Australia is um, kind of in the hot seat right now because he did a video. His name is the Aussie Flipper. He has a little over 26,000 subscribers. He did a video saying this thrift store does not like resellers. Now, from what I've heard, he went in and you know how thrift stores sell the little bags? Well, he was not happy because he wanted Monster High Dolls or something and there was one in one bag and one in another bag and one in another bag. And he actually... I'm not sure if this is true, but I have heard he actually asked the thrift store if they would open the bags up and combine them into being what he wanted. So he could pay less. What? Uh, if this is true, this is the, one of the reasons why thrift stores, a lot of thrift stores and other places don't like resellers, but let's get into it. I keep an open mind, so let's get into it and see what happened in this video and why so, there's so much drama concerning it right now. Sorry, I think I have a dog choking back there, but uh, I'll give him CPR after the video. No, it's not that bad. Let's, let's watch. Well, that is awesome, guys. Two stores, and we found 10 items. Crikey! That's all I wanted to say. Crikey! Granted, we have had to pay up, no doubt about it. $102, I think I spent in that last store for seven items. So, you know, what's that an average of? $13 or $14 odd per item? Um, but there was some good big ticket stuff in that. I'm, I'm confident that you would have done the same thing. Because... Yeah. <laughs> It was probably those Keen shoes that just sat with me for a little bit, but brand new, those Keen shoes are $230. It's always good to just check the retail price of the shoe as if it was new. So $230, some waterproof hiking shoes, Keen being a fantastic brand. Yes, $25, $26 is a lot of money for a single pair of shoes. But the condition though, right? Like they were like new. So like new. I'm kind of lost uh, of the brands I don't know, but I'm kind of just listening to his really cool Australian accent. So, uh, totally into this so far. $230, a lot of international comps on eBay as well. Now, when it comes to the international comps, for those that are new, it refers to italics. So you'll see the italics in the price point and that just refers to it being an international sale. So. Back when I first started, I kind of ignored those numbers, but now I pay heavy attention to them because it is still true value of that item for someone somewhere around the world. And I do offer international shipping, so I, I, it would be remiss of me not to include that information in my... Sir, I feel like I should tell you, you're driving on the wrong side of the road. Deliberation. <laughs> so by doing that, I realized that there was sort of 80 to $90 worth of value in those shoes and $25 then doesn't seem like too bad of a purchase. Um, so we'll see how they go. We'll get Courtney and list them up right away. Those Steph Curry shoes are really cool too. Steph Curry shoes are cool. That is true. Uh, I'm hoping we get to the meat of this pretty soon. I might cut out some of this middle part uh, because, yeah. Love the fact that there were so many great shoes up for grabs. Um, but obviously condition was the the main reason that caused me to go ahead with either the purchase or the leave behind. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'll tell you what, the last time I went out thrifting came away with 10 items from two thrift stores to the quality of what you've seen so far today. Uh, it's been a long time. So got very, very lucky there. Uh, it's only been an hour as well. It hasn't taken very much time to get that stock, uh, which is another big win as well. Um, not having to go around to too many stores. So I'm gonna shoot home now. I'm gonna give this to Courtney to list up this afternoon. She hopefully would have very, very close to finishing the post. Um, and then I'm gonna let her list that up, which might take her another hour to do. The post is the mail, I think, in Australia. So that gives us another hour up our sleeve uh, to go and find more stock. Like I said, this is not an ideal day. I don't wanna be running around trying to find stock for her to list. And ultimately, if I don't find stock, she doesn't have anything to do. Um, it's a very inefficient, unpractical way of doing things. But it is unfortunately the position that we find ourselves in today. So we're just gonna have to make do and fingers crossed, hope we get a bit more luck like we have so far. What took place next unfortunately derailed the rest of the afternoon.
Here we go. Are you ready? I'm Here we go. A pretty upbeat person. But that has just got me slightly angry. But I kept my cool in there. I didn't. I actually had a good conversation with a lady um, who wasn't the manager. Um, about about. I've got some footage of, of the item, and the item is irrelevant, right? There were three dolls. There were three sets of dolls. They were all priced up for $7. And I'm a customer that comes in here to try and pay for an item that will ultimately go towards the charity, the Salvation Army in this case. I asked the lady who was an absolute lovely volunteer, I just said, do you mind if there was a doll in each of these bags that I was to put into my own bag and take away for the price of the bag? So I was just basically moving the dolls around. I wanted three, they were all random dolls that they just stuffed into a bag and put a $7 price on. So I said to them, I said, do you mind if I just grab that one, that one, that one, and we put that in a bag? I haven't even comped them up. I don't even know if they're worth any money. Dude. So he wanted to take all the dogs out of dolls out of bags and just take the three he wanted. They were $7 a bag. Take the three he wanted and pay the $7. Dude. In America, we call that having stones to ask. Money. They just looked interesting. They looked like they could be worth some money. And I was happy to take the staff for $7 from a resale perspective. Thrift, thrift stores are not garage sales. Uh, thrift stores are not garage sales. That's really rude to ask a thrift store that. I am looking to resell these items for a profit. But the lady decided to go out the back and see if that was possible. And as a volunteer, no worries, go and speak to the manager, get the clearance. The manager from out the back said, no, we can't do that. The dolls have been placed into the bag and that's how they're gonna be sold. They cannot be moved around once they're in the bag. Just like Aussie Flipper, if you were to sell a lot of things, a lot of items uh, on eBay, if someone emailed you or messaged you and asked, hey, can I have this one from this lot, this one from this lot, and this one from this lot, and just pay for one of the lots? I don't think you'd like that. Bag with their $7 price tag. So no manipulating of the stock. If you want those three dolls, buy all three bags for $21. Right. $7 a bag. Right. I said, you're kidding, really? I said, these are just, yeah. You said you're kidding? He actually said to the, to the manager in the store, employer, volunteer, you're kidding when they refused to open up the bags and give him the choice doll that he wanted out of each bag just for him. Wow. Nine randomly allocated dolls that you've just thrown into a bag and put out there. And as a customer, I'm willing to, to buy a bag for seven bucks. Maybe I'm in the wrong. Maybe I should. You are in the wrong, dude. You are 100% in the wrong. I didn't think, when I heard about this, I didn't think it was real. That's why I wanted to do a reseller reaction video to this. Because I didn't think this could be real. I can't, I can't believe, I can't believe it is. I shouldn't be doing that. Maybe I shouldn't be manipulating and saying, can I have this, this, and this picking no. and using. So I said to the volunteer, I said, they're not, they, I said, can I speak? I said, that was the next thing. I said, can I speak to the manager from out the back? who said no, just to get an answer as to why, because the volunteer didn't have an answer why. It doesn't matter why, because that's what they're, that's what they're put in the bags for in the store, and that's what they're for sale as. I don't go into, you know, Walmart or Macy's or the grocery store. I can go to the grocery store and say, hey, I only need a half a bag of these potatoes, but I do need bananas and oranges. So can I just mix and then pay for the bag of the potatoes? Criminy. She didn't know. She just said that's just what she said. So I said, do you mind if I speak to her? Like, truly calmly. And uh, she said, no worries, I'll go and check for you. The manager said, or the manager basically refused to come out and speak to me. Good. To give me a reason why. Good. <laughs> so the volunteer came back and said, sorry, she doesn't want to come out and speak to you. And that just really made me frustrated. She'd given an answer and then she You've got to be kidding, man. This, 
you are an extremely privileged reseller is what it sounds like. You want other people to do what you want them to do. You are completely in the wrong. I have been a reseller for over 30 years. You are completely in the wrong, man. She couldn't even come out and justify her reasonings as to why. She doesn't need to. And it's not about the dolls. It's just about... It's about you being spoiled and privileged. I mean, I don't know anything about this guy's channel, but he's kind of infuriating me because I go into a thrift store and I shop and if something is priced and I don't want it, then I don't buy it. I don't berate the thrift store employee or manager or whatever and say, but why? It doesn't matter why. It's the way they do business. It's their right to do business how they see fit. And it's ridiculous that you are basically throwing a tantrum about this. Everything that these thrift stores are doing lately. I, I, walked up, I walked up to the back door where they all are working on the back because I could see that in my conversation with the volunteer that, that all three of them, these three women out the back, they were all watching me have a conversation with this volunteer. And when I went out the back and I just looked from the back door, the manager had kind of darted off to the left-hand side. And then I spoke to two other, I guess, volunteers that were out the back. I said, I was, I was just curious as to why the bag couldn't be split up. I'm willing to purchase um, a couple of your dolls. And uh, she said, oh, look, we often get people to come in to buy to resell. Um, so we like to make it fair by placing ultimately some good dolls with bad dolls. There is nothing wrong with that. There is, I'm a reseller. I mean, that hurts my bottom line. Okay. There is nothing wrong with the store doing that. Absolutely, absolutely nothing. And for you to be complaining about it and, and going on YouTube and doing a reseller rant is absolutely unbelievable to me. It makes you seem so unbelievably privileged. Um, which sounded like to me is they deliberately put them into bags to deter somebody buying them for the purpose of reselling them. That was their justification. Maybe they do that because people who are privileged resellers like you come in and bother them and say, well, why don't you just sell me this one? Why don't you just do this? Why don't you just do this? Why don't you do more work on your end so I can buy this and make money from it? Why, why don't you do more work on your end, you being a volunteer or you being a manager who probably doesn't make that much, uh, why don't you do more work so I can make money? Please, please do that now. Putting it back because there was, in my opinion, as a reseller, three good dolls, all in individual bags. So these these people out the back were like, we don't want to sell to a reseller, so we're going to make it hard for them by putting that single doll in each bag. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. And you don't understand that by you raising a stink about it in that store it doesn't make them like resellers anymore so what you've done aussie flipper is you've now made other resellers who don't go in and ask for the things like you do the special treatment like you have now you make it harder on them so this store is not going to they're going to be uh have a bad taste in their mouth i hope in australia you know you know what that means like they have negativity now uh, in their thoughts towards other resellers because of what you did. And charging $7. And if they have to buy them all at $21, it might not be profitable for them. That's what it felt like based on what that volunteer at the back had mentioned. So I said, after she'd explained for a minute or two, I said, it's interesting that you refer to a reseller. I said, I am a reseller. I said, I do resell. I buy, I'm, I'm actually looking to buy these dolls to resell them on eBay. Um, but it's curious that you raised a reseller as your reasoning for putting them in a bag. I said, if it was a kid with a child that wanted these three dolls, would you have not done it for that person? And is it more that you're trying to deter the reseller? And she immediately said, I'm sorry, I can't continue to have a chat with you about this. Right. We've already used up too much of our time. Right. That'll do. Right. Thank you very much. I don't blame them one bit. And that's really as far as it went. I didn't press her to get another word out of her. 
I didn't try to speak to the actual manager of the store who I'm yet to even speak to. And, you know, over my journey of four years of doing selling on eBay, thrift store purchasing has been a large part of my sourcing of inventory. I can't even watch this anymore. I can't even watch this anymore. This guy owes that thrift store, the volunteers, the manager, etc., whoever else, an apology. I cannot believe that he did this video as a reseller rant when he actually, the, the thrift store employees and volunteers should be ranting about him and how he came in and asked them to completely uh, bend over backwards to serve him. It's unbelievable to me. This gives resellers a bad name. This is why people don't like resellers. What the Aussie Flipper did, this is why people do not like resellers. This is why when you go in, they want to deter resellers because of people and interactions like this. It's completely inappropriate and he should be ashamed of himself. You know, I always tell it like I see it and that is absolutely how I see it. It's unfortunate. He owes them an apology. Uh, having said that, I don't really have a lot else to say other than it just makes me mad uh, when you act like you're more important than the, the thrift store. You're more important than other people. You're more important than the kids who may come in the store. Come on, man. Completely inappropriate. Anyway, I'm Poochie. I keep it real as always. If you don't like this video and you would like to do a rant on it, you're more than welcome. Uh, <laughs> man, that's just as upsetting to me. We'll see you later, guys. I appreciate you watching as always. But be nice. Be nice to thrift store employees. There is no excuse uh, to give them a hard time. There really isn't, unless they are completely jerks and going out of their way to uh, single you out and treat you badly. There is no excuse for treating people at the store like this, especially volunteers. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.